All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo Legion model Y530-15ICH. Okay, so first what you wanna do is remove all the screws from the bottom. This is using a Phillips PH1 or J1 screwdriver. And you will have to remove this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Um, don't mix up the screws because they are different sizes. These ones are shorter. And then these ones in the back and the middle one are longer. But um, try and keep them all organized so you don't get them all mixed up. After you remove all the screws, what you want to do is... Again, first make sure your computer's off, of course. Um, but there's a little gap here um, along the bottom and then the front part of this panel. So I use my fingernails. You can use a pry tool. If you don't have a pry tool, you can wait till your fingernails grow out. But basically, I use my fingernails to get between the gap and then push on the bottom with my thumb. Don't push on the trackpad, just only on the palm rest area. So once you do that, as you can see, you can pull the casing out just like this. Okay. And just go all the way along okay go around um, when you get to the sides so you can pull up here you have to pull up the upper area here okay so you just pull on that while you're kind of prying it apart okay and just go around same thing with the other side okay lift it up Oops. Pop that back out. okay so just keep going all the way around same thing lift on the upper side here okay once you get all those clips out um, you don't have to worry about the back side because once you get all of those out you can actually lift this side up so it is still caught here so pull those clips out there you go once you get all those clips out you can lift the whole shell up like this and kind of just wiggle it while you're kind of lifting it and it'll pop out just like that Okay, so you got some thermal pads here. Make sure you don't get those dirty because if not, it won't transfer the heat properly. Um, but yeah, that's how you remove the bottom cover. Um, and then the RAM slot, it'll actually have this metal plate on top. So there's these little um, metal clips or something that hold it in place. But basically this piece will just be on top like this. So it'll be like that. And then I just use my fingernail, get underneath one corner, and then pry it up. All right. Make sure to not, like, um, fling this thing out. So I put my hand here just to keep it from flying away. Okay. And then you just go all the way around, pull up the corners, and that's how you get the RAM slots open. Okay. Usually when you work on the computers, what you want to do is disconnect the battery and then um, hold the power button for a few seconds. Um, this one looks like it has a motherboard issue, so I'm probably not going to be able to do anything to repair it except replace the board or see if I have someone that works on these kinds of little small circuits and maybe they can fix it. Um, but the battery, the black part of this connector slightly sticks out, so I use my fingernails and then I kind of just wiggle it just like this. Okay. If you can't, um, one thing you can do to make it easier is you can take the battery out and then kind of just grab as close to the back of the connector so you can and just slowly wiggle it. Don't um, try and just pull it out real hard or you'll break this. So I just like try and pry this. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the harder way, but I kind of don't want to um, take the whole thing out. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so there you go. So as you wiggle the connector, as you can see, it kind of popped loose. So same thing with this side. There you go. And then you can pull the connector out. Um, to pull the battery connector completely out, you will want to undo the screws and then take the whole battery out. I'm going to leave it in here. Um, but yeah, usually to be safe, take the battery out, hold the power button for about 10, 20 seconds, and then you should be good to go. Um, usually the only part that's kind of risky... Um, if you don't disconnect the battery is the LCD connector. So if you're going to mess with the LCD connector, make sure to do that. Okay, so the LCD connector, just like these little connectors, you just flip this little latch, these little latches up. Hopefully you can see that, the little black latch. And then once you flip the latch up, you can actually pull the cables out. Let me see here. Oh, I think they used an adhesive or something. Oh, there we go. Okay, then you can pull these connectors out. To put it back, just make sure the latch is up put the connector in and then put it back down okay so there you go and then put that back down 
All right, so this is for the USB board and then there's a little um, power light here or what is that? That's uh, yeah, that's the power light. Okay, so then you got the um, hard drive here. It's a SATA hard drive. So there's four screws holding it down. Once you remove the screws, you can take it out. Make sure to undo this little bracket and pull that out first. All right. So the hard drive connector, you kind of just pry it out just like this. Okay. All right, then you got, there's an M.2 um, SSD here. This is for Intel Optane, so they're just using it to kind of speed up the computer. But you can put an SSD here. Um, I believe the Intel Optane, usually this will support um, M.2 NVMe or PCIe slot um, SSDs, so most likely you can use those. There's the keyboard connector underneath here. Um, I guess let me take out the keyboard just to show, I mean the battery, just to show you what's underneath. screws out so I think there's five yeah five screws holding the battery down so remove those five screws once you got the five screws out you can lift the battery at an edge just like that okay and then yeah to remove the battery connector you kind of just wiggle it and it'll eventually come out just like that okay all right, so that's how you remove the battery. So here underneath, you can see there's the CMOS battery here, and then you got the trackpad connector here underneath the speaker. The speakers just lift out. It has a little rubber thing. Um, this aluminum foil stuff is kind of in the way blocking it, but you just lift these things out and it'll come out like this. And then there's also the wire for the uh, um, speakers connecting up here. So I'm gonna leave this in. All right, you also got this connector for also the touchpad, touchpad board. Okay, so this is for like the clicking buttons, I think it connects to the trackpad and then this goes from the trackpad to the main board. Okay, so then you got the speaker connector that connects the other speaker here. So the two speakers are connected, then it just connects up here. The wireless card to remove these, you just pop up the antennas from the tail at an angle, just from the back. Don't try and pry the front or you'll damage them. And to put them back, you just line them up and then push it back down, okay? Um, then there's one screw. So you, if you want to take this, the wireless card out, pop out both antennas, undo the screw. It'll pop up at an angle, just like the RAM, like this. And then you can kind of just wiggle and pull it out. Um, and I think I forgot to mention, but the RAM is PC4 2666V. So if you need the RAM, that's what it is, DDR4 memory, okay. All right, and then you got the two fans here. It looks like to take the fans out, you'd have to kind of take the heatsink out. I don't think, yeah, that one screw's not holding it. It's the whole heatsink. So I'll check, but I'm pretty sure you have to take the whole heatsink out. Yeah, you'd have to take the whole heatsink out to get to the fan. So I'm not going to do that, um, but basically there's the GPU under here and the CPU under here. They're both soldered to the board. You can't really change them or upgrade them. And yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to this computer. Uh, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, actually, let me show you one more thing because I believe there's the keyboard backlight cable under here. Hmm. So there's the keyboard connector here. I'm surprised. I don't see a keyboard backlight um, connector here anywhere. So I don't know if it's underneath the motherboard. So if you're going to take out the motherboard or the logic board, um, just be careful lifting it up because there's a good chance that the keyboard backlight connector is underneath there. Um, I don't see it connected anywhere on the board. Yeah. So yeah, just be careful lifting out the board. It's most likely connected underneath. So if you yank on it, it's probably going to rip the cable. All right. Um, but anyways, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, uh, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.